Good afternoon, everyone. This is the annual faculty award ceremony in the Faculty of Science and Technology, UWI Mona, the FST. And we welcome all of you who have joined us. Thank you for joining us on this auspicious occasion to the FST's YouTube channel for an evening of recognizing distinguished academic excellence. On behalf of Professor Michael Taylor, Dean of the FST, and Dr. Shereen James Williamson, Acting Dean, I invite you to enjoy the evening and to share in the celebrations. So get those typing fingers ready, everyone, and send in those comments to big up and encourage all our awardees. In fact, I want you to big up and celebrate the entire FST faculty tonight. I wish we could give awards to every one of you, our students and staff, because the truth is that each of you deserves it for your resilience and perseverance navigating university life through a pandemic. And ladies and gentlemen, I tell you something, that is possibly what makes this year's awards ceremony so very extra special. First of all, it confirms to us that the culture of excellence in the FST permeates beyond the spine and that whether our students are physically here or not, excellence endures and sustains. And secondly, our awardees this evening have distinguished themselves in a faculty of greatness. So having turned challenges into transformation, their achievements must be elevated not only to motivate us, you know, those of us who are watching on, but to inspire us to never give up on our quest for excellence. With the love and support of all of you, families and friends who are here this evening, they pushed, they pushed those boundaries and neither COVID-19 nor online learning could hold them from achieving excellence. I don't know if you can feel how I'm feeling right now, but I tell you something, my excitement and pride this evening is palpable. At this time, I'm going to invite the acting Dean of the FST, Dr. Shereen James Williamson, to bring the official welcome on behalf of the faculty. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Faculty of Science and Technology to the second staging of our virtual awards function. Indeed, today we are celebrating excellence. We are celebrating excellence, hard work, and brilliance of our students and staff. The Faculty of Science and Technology Awards function is one of the most significant events on the faculty's calendar. It is significant because it is a time for reflection. It is a time when you reflect on where you have been, where you are and where you are expected to go. It is a day for celebration, a day for recognition, a day for the patting on backs, the applause and standing ovations for those who have worked well. Not only have you worked well, you have worked well under difficult and extraordinary circumstances. So it makes your reward even more significant and more important. I must admit that I do miss our face-to-face -face ceremony, to see the nice outfits, the faces beaming with pride, and your friends and relatives in the audience applauding and feeling that sense of satisfaction, that sense of reward, that sense of pride, that their children, their child, their niece, their nephew have done well. But I always think that the ceremony being via this medium allows for your parents and loved ones to relive your moment over and over. And they can share it over and over as well. You can hear your name called over and over as many times as you dare to listen. Despite that this is the medium we would prefer not to be engaged with for such a ceremony, it does allow us to spread the word of our success and our, and our excellence. You know, your name gone abroad. To the parents and friends and well-wishers, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being the cushion, the crutch, the pillar 
thank you for being motivator and guide to these, our students. If you're a member of staff, thank you for your contribution through your hard work and dedication to both your teaching and your research. We salute you. If this year you haven't received an award, there's always next year. Continue to strive, continue to work hard. Your reward will be great. So on behalf of the Faculty of Science and Technology, welcome once again and heartiest congratulations to everyone. And I wish for you a very good ceremony. Thank you, Dr. James Williamson. We know your connection with our students during their academic journey is an intimate one in your capacity as Associate Dean for Undergraduate Matters. And I know you two are beaming with pride today. It was quite evident in the delivery of your message just now. And now everyone, we will hear from the principal of the Mona campus and Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Dale Weber. You know, introducing Prof Weber, especially at FSD events, is another moment of pride for the faculty. Prof Weber, for those of you who do not know, is a son of the FST and served us in various capacities as HOD for the Department of Life Sciences and Associate Dean for both undergraduate and graduate matters before moving on to university service. Ladies and gentlemen, a message from our principal, Professor Dale Weber. Dr. Mavadine Singh Wilmot, Chairperson and Senior Lecturer. Mr. Aston Hamilton, Guest Speaker, Senior Associate Consultant, McKenzie and Company, New York. Professor Michael Taylor, Dean, Faculty of Science and Technology. Dr. Shereen James Williamson, the Acting Dean. Heads of Departments, Faculty Members, Members of the Administrative Staff, Awardees, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good evening. I'm pleased to bring greetings at the Faculty of Science and Technology Annual Awards Ceremony for 2022 in my capacity as Pro Vice Chancellor and Principal of the University of the West Indies Mona Campus. I wish to extend a special greeting to Mr. Aston Hamilton, who has made the time to address our gathering today. I must also express appreciation to Dean Taylor and the team for organizing an annual event to recognize outstanding students and staff. It is good to have this recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here this evening to recognize academic excellence, to celebrate the work and efforts and achievements of our students and our staff. As principal, it brings me great joy to address this function, especially because this is home for me. The faculty is very dear to me and you are all very dear to me. Awardees, please accept my heartfelt congratulations for your achievements. We are proud of all that you have accomplished. And so today, your hard work is being celebrated. The Faculty of Science and Technology has a rich legacy and you have continued that legacy. Those who have gone before you saw the challenges and the deficits and they rose to meet those challenges. You have done the same with determination. You have gone beyond resource constraints. Because of their sacrifices and now yours, you've been able to access opportunities and make your dreams reality. Individual effort is always critical to excellence, but collaboration goes a long way to ensure continuity of specializations. More and more collaborative work is pivotal to a full understanding of the questions and the determination of solutions that we need. The successes that you reap are heavily dependent on your ability to form the right networks where you can receive the support you need and the advice as well as partnerships. Students, you know very well that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Preparation prevents poor performance and you have demonstrated this by having your knowledge and your acumen brought to the fore. For our staff awardees, you too have personalized what you have done and you have made planning very important in pushing through despite the many challenges that we have all faced, especially over the last year. So awardees in general, your performance so far assures us that you understand the value and importance of the pursuit of excellence here at the Mona campus. You have shown that you understand that excellence demands commitment and effort. 
as you set your gaze on the next rung of the ladder, because we know you are going further, I encourage you to make use of the opportunities available to you. Seek out mentors who can give you guidance and give you assurance. Connect with your fellow classmates or your colleagues and professionals both inside and outside the university in a range of disciplines. Collaboration, as we've said, is critical. I wish to recognize and commend Ms. Lenita Roden for having caught the awards in the Vincent Hosan competition and Ms. Jaquil Johnson who won first place in the Food Science Toolbox essay writing competition. Special commendation also to the winners of the 2020-21 Vice Chancellor's Award for Excellence, Dr. Penagonda, Excellence in Teaching, and Professor Tanisha Stevenson, Excellence in Research Accomplishments. I also wish to recognize our faculty awardees, Professor Rupita Delgoda, who was named the 2021 SAC Laureate for Science, Dr. Warren Watson, who received the Prime Minister's 2020 Youth Award for Academics, Mr. Yannick Wallen Bryan, who received the Prime Minister's 2020 Youth Award for Science and Technology, and Professor Mona Weber for winning the Gold Musgrave Medal for Science. Let me close by taking this opportunity to recognize and honor our colleagues who have passed over this year. They have made their contributions and we recognize this. They'll be missed, but their work and legacy and their memories continue in a contribution to a faculty that is a part of our noble institution and serves as a foundation for many who will come after us. Awardees, congratulations and best wishes for your continued success. We eagerly look forward to your continued triumphs of tomorrow. Please accept my warmest wishes on the next step of your journey. You're an inspiration to us all. Continue being that light rising from the West. Thank you. Thanks so much, Prof Weber, for those very warm greetings. We really, really appreciate you taking the time to join the celebrations here in the FST this afternoon. We know that even with your busy schedule, you would miss it for nothing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we prepare to receive the guest speaker, I invite one of our multi-talented students to the stage. He's a young man I enjoy working with a young man with a passion for physics and music, Mr. Orain Green, everybody. He will give us a musical rendition after which Professor Daniel Kaur will introduce and bring on the guest speaker for this afternoon. Round of applause now, everyone, for Orain Green. I've been sad, I've been lost, I've been down and out and lonely. I've been suffering at a job in a world that tries to own me But when I wake up every morning there's a vision of a better place Cause the harder that we grind the sweeter is the glory Oh people say I'm foolish People say I'm bloody by faith But if I run out of air, if I crash, I don't care I'm gonna do it my way I can make it through this You can throw the world in my face But the fear gives me life and I swear till I die I'm gonna do it my way hey, hey, hey. Gonna do it my way hey, I'm gonna do it my way So put me down and criticize me with your lies and with your parody But in the darkness I don't hide cause I got a pride that gives me clarity I still wake up in the morning with the vision of a better life Because the option of defeat is just not written in my story Oh, people say I'm foolish Oh, people say I'm bloody by faith But if I run out of air, if I crash, I don't care I'm gonna do it my way Oh, I can make it through these You can throw the world in my face But the fear gives me life and I swear till I die I'm gonna do it my way hey. Oh, every time they build a wall around 
around me I will tear it down and say Gotta live my dreams Gonna live my dreams Even when the floods rush around to drown me I will hold my breath and pray Gonna live my dreams Every single one of my I ain't quitting none of my dreams People say I'm foolish People say I'm glad about faith But if I run out of air If I crash, I don't care I'm gonna do it my way Oh, I can make it through these You can throw the world in my face Mother fear gives me life And I swear till I die I'm gonna do it my way Let me fly through the air if I crash, I don't care, I'm gonna do it my way Cause the fear gives me life and I swear till I die Ooh. Good afternoon, scholars and other awardees. <clears throat> Let me begin by offering my heartiest congratulations to you for earning your place in these ceremonies today. We in the faculty are proud of you and your achievements and we hope that you will aspire to even greater heights in the future. Today's keynote speaker was once a student like yourselves, a high achiever and faculty awardee, and he has indeed moved on to greater heights. Mr. Aston Hamilton graduated from UWE with a first class honors degree and then returned to UWE to do his MSc in computer science. He then became a senior analytics specialist at NCB, where he led the initial design and establishment of their analytics store architecture to support the scale-up of their enterprise information management program. He also drove numerous other initiatives at NCB to increase the use of data and analytics to drive decisions at the bank. I have a feeling that the NCB internship program that many of you participate in today was probably established on the confidence of what those at NCB had seen in Aston. After NCB he went on to pursue an MBA at the prestigious Wharton School of Business at the University of Pennsylvania. There he pursued three majors in finance, business economics, and business analytics. He finished in the top 5% of his class, earning the designation of a Palmer Scholar, the highest academic honor at Wharton. After graduating from Wharton with those top honors, he got a job at McKinsey & Company, one of the most highly respected management consulting, consulting firms for those of you who have never heard of it before. He's still there as a senior associate consultant where he spends his days working with teams of other consultants <clears throat> to make recommendations on solving problems in areas such as sales, operations, technology strategy, and investment for some of the largest banks and companies in the US and indeed in the world. Aston's rise has indeed been meteoric. So we're indeed very grateful that he has agreed to spend some time with you this afternoon to share the wisdom he has gained from the journey that he has taken to this point. We know that many of you in the audience have the same potential, and we hope that his words will inspire you to believe in that potential and to achieve it. Master of Ceremony, Dr. Marva Dean Singh Wilmot, Principal and Pro Vice Chancellor, Professor Dale Weber, Dean of the Faculty of Science and Technology, other faculty members, outstanding awardees, Friends, family, and specially invited guests, good evening. First, thank you, Professor Taylor and your team for extending me the invitation to speak to this exceptional group. I'm honored to have the privilege of giving this address as we celebrate the academic excellence of our awardees for their work in the period 2020 to 2021. To the awardees, please accept my hearty congratulations. Your achievements in a period of unprecedented mental and physical toll brought about by the pandemic is nothing short of outstanding. I applaud your undeniable grit and resilience to achieve excellence, despite the upheaval of life inside and outside the classroom when you restarted in 2020. I implore you to hold your heads high and to be proud of what you have accomplished. It was not too long ago that I was in your similar place, celebrating my own academic achievements at UWE. And as I consider my journey since then, it's clear that my time at UWE had a significant role in shaping the trajectory of my life. When I came to UWE, I was determined to become an electrical engineer and to follow my passion for physics. I was so in love with physics that back then, the physics department would post a public leaderboard for the end of semester exams. 
And I take personal pride in competing for the top spot and also being a regular inductee into Professor Taylor's Physics Honor Society. But as I did my thing in physics, I started to discover the many opportunities that UA also provided to explore my interest in computer science. And it's through these opportunities that I found the direction that I ultimately wanted to pursue for my life. In my first semester at UA, I participated in a hackathon being organized in partnership with the Department of Computing. I placed well enough to be given the opportunity to work with Dr. Manting and her colleagues to build a Python game for the OLPC. Now, this OLPC initiative was to put computers into the hands of children from underprivileged communities, and this was one of the first times that I saw how technology could be a tangible enabler for change in our society. By my second semester, I was introduced to Professor Kaur's Cardiac Surgery Simulator Research Group, and I was awestruck by the world-class research being pioneered out of the tiny offices right there on U.S. campus. By chance, in that same semester, one of my usual overachieving Java assignments caught the eye of one of the research students, and I was given the opportunity to work with Professor Kaur and his team to build a mobile UI for the simulator. So for my next few years at UA, I worked with the core club, as we called ourselves back then, to not only build a mobile UI for the simulator, but also to use a 3D printer to print robots that we competed internationally, and to work on various other initiatives as I built some of my closest friendships throughout my time at UA. I could go into many more stories like these, from building the first mobile or VLE app, to being one of the founding members of UA's IEEE student chapter. You created an environment that presented many opportunities to help me to mature as a person, as a professional, and as someone that felt empowered to make a difference in my world. So our word is, as we celebrate your academic excellence today, I encourage you to consider three lessons from my time at UA that might be helpful as you continue to write your own stories. My first lesson was that what I did outside the classroom was just as important as my pursuit of excellence inside the classroom. UWE provided many opportunities for me to use extracurricular activities to go deeper into the topics that I found most interesting inside the classroom. From representing UWE in the IEEE Southeast Con competitions, using the same robots that were built in ELET 2450, to building the mobile UI for the UWE Cardiac Surgery Simulator using the same Java skills from my Comp 1161 class. My activities outside the classroom were key to honing my skills and exploring my passions. These extracurricular activities helped to shape my unforgettable UA experience. And there were the stories in my job interviews and in my US grad school applications that helped to demonstrate my interests, my values, and my personality. So I push you to leverage all that UA has to offer outside the classroom while pursuing academic excellence inside the classroom. Be it opportunities to participate in postgrad research or opportunities to participate in student-run clubs, explore your passions and build lasting relationships as you write your own UA story. My second lesson was the importance of my support system, which had much of its foundation in the relationships that I built at UA. Life after UA was much more complicated than my small world when I was in school. And it was my friends and my mentors who were critical in helping me to make the right decisions and to be there with a helping hand when I needed it most. From helping me to find a job after UA to encouraging me to pursue grad school in the US, so much of my successes after UA were undeniably due to me standing on the shoulders of giants like Dr. Manting and Professor Kaur, who became some of my most valued mentors during and after my time at UA. I encourage you to leverage the access that UA affords you to the top tier faculty and also to your fellow students to build your tribe and your support system that will help you to navigate your time at UA and also your life afterwards. My third lesson was that my time at UA was only the first chapter in a much longer book and that my achievements in school were the foundation for my continued success afterward. The academic accolades got me the credibility to get my foot into the right doors. But it was the determination to push past the hurdles and the persistence to learn from the failures that allowed me to continue my story. 
These are all qualities that we celebrate today in you, our Outstanding Awardees. So I push you to continue to excel at UA and beyond. As Aristotle reminds us, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act but a habit. Congratulations again, Outstanding Awardees. Thank you so very much, Mr. Hamilton, for the time you took to be here and the thought you have put into this message this afternoon. I think your personal experiences made our awardees identify and connect with you. And I know that the three lessons you have left us with, they have learned. One, immerse in the FSD experience and build the total you. Two, leverage the networking opportunities you get in the FST to build an empowering support system and pick yourselves up. That's lesson three. Pick yourselves up when things don't go your way. Failure, you're saying, builds character and sustains growth. Something I picked up on, Mr. Hamilton, as you spoke, and I felt particularly proud of it. That's the role of the FST and its programs and its mentors in shaping your future. We do have a lot to offer our students and we encourage all awardees, in fact, all our students to immerse completely in the FSD experience. Thank you again for your profound message and for doing the FSD very, very proud on the world stage. Once again, we thank you. We thank you for being here this afternoon. We thank you for your message. We thank you for your example. And we thank you for keeping the FST's light shining bright. And now everyone, the moment you have all been waiting for. We come to the presentation of awards. We are going to begin with the departmental awards. And these will be announced by the undergraduate coordinators or heads of departments for each of our six departments. We begin with Dr. Donna Minor Cates, head of the Department of Chemistry, and transition to Dr. Gunjan Mansing, head of the Department of Computing. Dr. Mansing will be followed by Dr. Thomas Steeman, undergraduate coordinator in the Department of Geography and Geology. Dr. Dwight Robinson, head of the Department of Life Sciences, will then take over. Dr. Nagarani Ponakala, head of the Department of Mathematics, will follow. And Professor Tanisha Stevenson, head of the Department of Physics, will close the announcement of departmental awardees. The Department of Chemistry is pleased to present the departmental awards for the FSD Faculty Awards of 2022. Receiving the Willard Pinnock Award is Chad Miguel Buckle. The recipient of the LJ Haynes Award is Jordan Collins. The Kenneth Magnus Award for Applied Chemistry goes to Ramona Ambrosia Gowie Roberts. Receiving the Bert Fraser Reed Award is Crystal Claire Graham. The Chemistry Department Prize goes to Michaela Alia Miles. Receiving the Pavlik Honkan Prize is Jamelia Allison Morgan. The Premier Cedric Hassel Scholarship goes to Victoria Renee Perrin. Receiving the Garfield Sadler Award is Cheyenne Shanice Raymond. The Wilfred Chan Award goes to Tamoya Anika Wilson. On behalf of the Department of Chemistry, Congratulations to all our departmental awardees and congratulations to all the other award and prize recipients this afternoon. Congratulations all. The Department of Computing is pleased to announce two awards for the academic year 2020 and 2021. The Ezra Mukisa Award goes to Raheem Wilson and the card Carl Robinson Award goes to Matthew Palmer. Congratulations to both of you on your well-deserved success. 
Uh, my name is Dr. Tom Steeman, and I am very proud to be able to announce the departmental awardees for the Department of Geography and Geology for the last academic year, 2020 to 2021. And for our top first year, the Charles Matley Award for academic performance in first year, Kamala Alexander. The Trevor Jackson Award for the best performance in igneous and metamorphic petrology in the second year goes to Kamoy Douglas. The Werner A. Zanz Award for the best field map in the field mapping course in second year goes to Brianna Walker. And the Raymond Wright Award for the best final year geology project goes to Isabel Chen. And so we want to big up all our awardees this year and they've all made the department very proud. The following students have received awards for outstanding performances in the life sciences. The Devi Prasad Prize for outstanding performance in plant diversity goes to Kareen Barnett. The Vincent Hugh Mackay Prize for outstanding performance in second year zoology goes to Casia Brown. The Lloyd Cook Prize for Outstanding Performance in Plant Physiology goes to Shante Burton. The Sassiscala Potluri Prize for Outstanding Performance in Plant Form and Systematics goes to Lee Ann Legister. The Avinash Potluri Prize for Outstanding Performance in life sciences goes to Nicholas Lee. The Charlotte Good Body Prize for outstanding performance in level one life sciences courses goes to Nicholas Lee. The Ivan Good Body Prize for outstanding performance by a second year marine biology student goes to Matthew Pear. Rogers. The Don Skelling Prize for Outstanding Performance in Preliminary Biology goes to J. Marine Spence. The Department of Life Sciences congratulates all its awardees. In the Department of Mathematics, we have several academic awards given to students annually. They are Department of Mathematics Prize given to students with the best grades in Level 1 Mathematics, Merville Campbell Prize given to students with the best performance in Level 1 and Level 2 Mathematics courses, Henry Ayu Prize given to students with the best grades in Pure Mathematics. I'm very happy to announce the winners of these awards for the academic year 2020-21. And they are Ruth Ann Blair, the Department Mathematics Prize for Level 1. Ruth Ann Blair, the Merville Campbell Prize, Level 1. Justin Lynch, the Mervyn Campbell Prize for Level 2. Justin Lynch, the Henry I Prize, Level 2. Nikoi Redwood, the Henry High Prize Level 2. Congratulations to you all on your awards. Department of Mathematics is proud of your achievements. Wishing you all the best for your future. The Department of Physics is pleased to recognize the following departmental awardees. For the Physics Honor Society Award, Theodore Lamar Bennett. For the Michael Neville McMorris Prize for Physics, Cadane Delano Codner. For the Michael Thermonathan Physics Bursary, Shannon Shamar Justin France. 
for the level 2 physics bursary, Justin Alexander Gooden. For the Professor John Ludinqui Prize for Introductory Physics, Christine Kayana Henry. For the Charlton Foundation Award, Deja Torna Mani. For the Level 2 Physics Bursary, Kyra Akila Tony Richards. And for the Physics Honor Society Award, Wills Jafoni Small. The Department of Physics congratulates all the awardees. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to all our undergraduate coordinators and HODs for making these announcements and for the leadership you provide to, at that departmental level, the leadership that sets the culture of excellence, challenging and supporting our students to perform at their best. And congratulations to all our departmental awardees for your outstanding performance in your respective courses. Come on parents, family, friends, keep those texts going, cheer them on and big them up in the chat. Now we're going to invite the acting dean for the undergraduate studies or for undergraduate studies rather, Dr. Winklet Gallimore, everyone. She's going to announce the students who have made the dean's honor roll and have received first class honors. Over to you, Dr. Gallimore. Faculty of Sciences and Technology would like to congratulate these students. They are at the preliminary level and they are on the Dean's Honor Roll for the academic year 2020-2021. Shania Burroughs. Deshaun Joseph. Tiana Lee Damon. Darion Sherritt. Shakira Smith. And J. Marine Spence. Congratulations to our students. Faculty of Science and Technology congratulates the following students. They are on the Dean's Honor Roll. They are level one students for the academic year 2020-2021. These students are Kemala Alexander, Chanel Allen, Ruthann Blair, Afia Bromfield, Lavandra Brown, Shana Lee Brown, Gabrielle Burke, Kemani Campbell, Nathaniel Campbell, Tavian Carr, Alex Chin, Jordan Collins. Tanelia Darian, Davaski Debike, Tasika Dunn, Abdullah Elcock, Asher Garwood, Michaelia Gale, Amber Jade Gibson, Rahid Gilzine, Georgina Geohagen. Lauren Ashley Golding, Timera Grant, Davian Harriot, Davia Hastings, Kristen Henry, Sydney John, Danielle Johnson, Shanice Jones, Tariq Kelly, Justin Labasid, Nicholas Lee, Abigail McFarlane, Janelle McCoy, Rachel Miller, Brian Milton, Asonika Moody, Sashel Nelson, Abigail Parchment. Simone Parker, Michaelia Prendergast, Miguel Roden, Jewel Ricketts, Gabrielle Scott, Prakash Sejuani, Morgan Sewell, Ramona Stanberry, Khalil Tracy, 
Chantel Wellington and Raheem Wilson, the Faculty of Science and Technology. Congratulate these accomplished level one students. Faculty of Science and Technology would like to congratulate the following students. They're on the Dean's Honor Roll, and these are students who are in level two for the academic year 2020 2021. Jordan Amrit. Naomi Benjamin. Netfor Blackwood. Patrice Campbell. Shabane Clark. Fabian Davidson, Jason DeCambre, Bradley Dot, Crystal Graham, Sebastian Lawrence, Justin Lynch, Christopher Martin, Ashley Ann Nelson, Matthew Palmer, Stuart Howell, Nikoi Red. Anna K. Richards, Dana Ashley Roberts, Michael Samuels, Meshale Sherwood, Joel Simpson, and Rihanna Walker. Congratulations to these students. Faculty of Science and Technology would like to congratulate the following students. They are the Dean's Honor Roll for Level 3 for the academic year 2020-2021. Andre Atkinson. Nathaniel Levesey. Javier Bryan. Shauna K. Bryan. Dijon Brooke. Trudy Clark. Alisa Hoy. Rashawn Crutchley. Malik East. Brittany Easy. Malik Edwards. Jordan Garvey, Nikolai Graham, Savannah Grant, Loyan Hall, Zoe Hall, Byron Haynes, Sakine Hines, Janiel James, Swain James, Nasia Jones, Nadia Lee, Tiffany McCarthy. Faith Center, Meridian. Jordan Nelson. Daniil Nicole. Georgian Pola. Randall Richards. Alicia Robinson. Samantha Samuels. Deandra Scott. Romari Scott. Kevin Taylor. Tajay Thompson. Vinton Baz, Alisa White, and Amarley Wright. Congratulations to all our students. Faculty of Science and Technology is pleased to announce our first class honorees for the academic year 2020-2021. Corian Anderson. Remaria Ashman. Andre Atkinson, Nathaniel Bedassi, Alika Bernard, Ajane Billings, Tashe Bowles, Javier Bryan, Dijon Burke, Shamar Burroughs, Akeem Campbell, Isabel Chen, Kino Clark. Trudy Clark, Elisa Coy, Roshan Kochi, Malik Edwards, Hesna Fairclough, Milton Francis, Jordan Garvey, Michael Golson, Nikolai Graham, Thalia Graham, Savannah Grant, Joanna Joy Gray, Zoe Paul, Byron Haynes, Janine James, Swain James, Nasia Jones, 
Philip Lewin, Danielle Morton, Samanet Morton, Stacey Kerr Reddy, Jarda Nelson, Daniel Nicole, Shane Okutino, Alexia Ormsby, Brianna Palmer, Kristen Hassar, Georgiana Pola, Shandale Freddy, Randall Richards, Nicole Robinson, Ophelia Robinson, Tani Samuel, Samantha Samuels, Jehiel Smith, Elisa Thompson, Aisha Wallace, Ashley Wise, Darian Williamson, Tashika Wilson, Garrett Wong, and Bradley Zimines. Faculty of Science and Technology acknowledges a special prize. This is the PSC degree with the highest GPA. And the holder of that is Michael Olson. He is a major, computer science major, and he has a minor in economics. Congratulations, Michael. Congratulations to this exceptional group of young scientists for distinguishing themselves with first-class honors and making the Dean's List these students found their passion. They found it here in the FST and this passion fueled them to shine. In the next feature, we take you on a trip to the FST, a trip where you get to see our students in action, where you get to learn some more about our programs and hear from our students why a degree from the FST empowers them to shine so bright. Selecting a career can be an overwhelming experience, especially since it determines the life ahead of you. Is there a problem you'd want to solve related to? Climate change, food security, food production, renewable energy, oil or mineral exploration. Your interest may lie in the area of forensics, epidemiology, marine biology. Maybe you love crunching numbers or you are interested in cybersecurity, robotics, creating apps and software. Have you considered developing new industrial resources and processes? The Faculty of Science and Technology is fit for your purpose. Foundational. Innovative. Transformative. So when you consider your career in science, consider the FST at the University of the West Indies, Mona. Let FST be your go-to place for science, knowledge, training, research, and solutions. Our undergraduate and postgraduate students are industry leaders. Our master's and PhD students are the faculty of science and technology. The faculty of greatness. The faculty of greatness. Faculty of Greatness. Faculty of Greatness. Come for the education. Leave with the FSC experience. Call us for a consultation today. The University of the West Indies. My place to shine. 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 Place to shine. Your place to shine. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it from our students themselves. If you want a career in any STEM-related field, come join us here in the FST. Come get empowered to find your own light and shine like the star that you are. 
At this time, I will bring back Dr. Gallimore to continue the announcement of all our students who have received academic commendations. Dr. Gallimore, once again, over to you. Faculty of Science and Technology would like to congratulate the following students who attained academic commendation at the undergraduate level. Uh, these are level one students who attained this for semester one for the academic year 2020-2021. Ponian Athlete. Nakiba Bowles. Colin Campbell. Johannes Puppet. Jordan DeSouza. Jade Demetrius, Trishana Douglas, Nasha Tripp, Leandro Dachier, Afi Gordon, Kadeen Grant, Brittany Gray, Brandon Hall, Sabrina Harvey, Abigail Hogarth, Pale Jarrett, Johnny Lewis, Everald Lovelace, Kevin McBean, Michaela Miles, Carissa Miller, Naomi Mohammed, Oni Peters Meyer, Tyra Nelson, Rajon Palmer, Kimoy B, Crystal Scott, Rashid Senior, Michaela Shatter. Ariel Stone, Damel Sweet, Shauna Lee Taylor, Tiffany Thomas, Monique Watts, Theron Worms, Nathan White, and Kimberly Williams. We congratulate all of our students. Faculty of Science and Technology would like to congratulate the following students. They are on academic commendation at the undergraduate level, and this is a level two for semester one for the academic year 2020-2021. Caitlin Alexander, Michaela Barnaby, Twana Benlos, Jody K. Davis, Nicholas Deans. Kimoy Marie Douglas, Giselle Downer, Jada Horton, Monifa Henry, Monique Henry, Jermaine Hibbert, Hawicia Conte, Shakini Joseph, Shelby Carr, Shabona Lewis, Roger Martin, Shannon Miller, Shatania Mori, Victoria Pura, Nadisha Pina, Kelsey Randall, Shaquan Robinson, Matthew Pierre Rogers, Zaria Russell, Diana Tibby, and Maisha Wolu. The faculty congratulates all of us. Students. The Faculty of Science and Technology congratulates the following students. They are on academic commendation at the undergraduate level. These are level three students, and this is for semester one for the academic year 2020-2021. Marlia Adams, Nadisha Allen, Remarlia Ashman, Jamie Lee Hassan, Akila Bernard, Dana Blissett. Julianne Buckman, Tobian Burke, Kenny Boros, Akeem Campbell, Monique Campbell, Taylor Case, Savannah Chong, Charlie Hodman, Vanessa Daly, Michelle Dixon, Jamal Evans. Khalil Francis, Lyanthony Golden, Shamar Green, Rogerio Jones, Shamar Jones, Celine Josephs, Malik Kinta, Dennis McLean, 
Shauna Dean, Mesquita, DeAndre Moore, Thalia Morris, Brianna Hama, Rezina Rafik, Mikkel Robinson, Sarita Robinson, Cargill Seabright, Abigail Simpson, Levon Smith, Ronaldo Sparks, Alana Thompson, Romaine Watson, Jodian Williams, Shoshana Williams, Tashika Wilson, and Bradley Jimenez. Faculty, congratulate our students. Faculty of Science and Technology congratulates the following students. They are an academic commendation at the undergraduate level. These are level one students, and this is for semester two of the academic year 2020-2021. Lloyd Allen, Javon Anderson, Kareen Barnett, Janelle Blackwood, Shane Blake, Melissa Brown, Amanda Campbell, Javana Campbell, Zaria Shi, Hannah Chen, Michaela Crip, Brittany Cunningham, Shadane Bailey, Lauren Doyle, Shimoy Edwards, Rajani Edwards, Brittany Ellington, Roshan Fisher, Heidi Hughes, Tavon Jones, Tavon Kip, Nevada Lewis, Kobe Lynch, Siobhan Miller, Jazan Miller, Solange Bar Mohammed, Jamelia Morgan, Shadrick Nathan, Giovanni Peter, Chelsea Porter, Gradain Samuels, Marika Shaw, Janai Shelton, Anandi Steen, Jelani Smith, Portia Spence, Akeel Walsh, Brittany Williams, Patrick Witcher, and Clive Wright. The faculty congratulates our students. The faculty of Science and Technology congratulates the following students. These are students from the level two. They are on academic commendation at the undergraduate level. This is for semester two of the academic year 2020-2021. They are Ricardo Allen, Jordan Ashman, Brianna Baldi, Joanna Belmar, Dina Brown, Alexandra Burnett, Tyrese Payton, Michelle Davies. Yakeem Fultz, Kimani Francis, Jason Gale, Justin Gooden, Jamelia Gordon, Okia Green, Oren Green, Ayana Hall, Cheyenne Harriet, Shamoya Hagel, Aaliyah Johnson, Liam Legister, Lupin Lupin. Gabrielle Mackey, Aaliyah Mills, Akil Mitchell, Alana Morrison, Danielle Mullins, Roma Rajwani, Deandra Reynolds, Kalia Lee Rodney, Shante Ryan, David Scott, Javon Simmons, Shay Marie Small, Michelle Spence, Tariq Strong, Maria Sukuk, Gennaro Taylor, Itwana Wall, Tracy Ann Williams, and Michael Young. Faculty congratulates all of students. Faculty of Science and Technology congratulates the following students. They are on academic commendation at the undergraduate level. This is a level three, and this is for performance in semester two of the academic year 2020-2021.
They are Corian Anderson, Ronil Barrett, Daniel Dati, Davon Beckford, Nikoyan Blackett, Tashe Bowles, Leo Brown, Michaelia Brown, Shamar Burroughs, Gabrielle Chambers, Isabel Chin, Matthew Chevans, Kino Clark, Tony M. Clark, Kevoy Day, Jacqueline Delibar, Justine Eccles, Michael Golson, Thalia Graham, Joanna Joy Gray, Logan Haltov, Natalie John, Bianca Jones, Talia Lane, Crystal Mesa, Daniel Morgan, Dominic Morgan, Shane Oki, Monique Parker. Kristen Prasad, Chloe Piper, Andrew Rogers, Brittany Salmon, Ronaldo Salmon, Shamar Smith, Ashray Suarez, Elisa Thompson, Tajay Walters, Shane Williams. Shanice Williams and Nahida Zaman. Congratulations to all our students. Congratulations to all those receiving academic commendations. We are so very proud of your outstanding achievements. Dr. Gallimore, we also thank you for doing such a fantastic job at making these announcements. I know the entire team of undergraduate coordinators, including yourself and Dr. James Williamson, are particularly proud of the awardees, having guided them on their academic journey through the faculty. Thanks again. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving this program right along and we transition to the postgraduate awards. For this, I invite Dr. Curtis Bubzi Earl, the FST's Associate Dean for Postgraduate Studies, to take over and make the announcement of the Graduate Awards. I'm pleased to announce the students who received academic commendation in their respective graduate programs in semester one of academic year 2020-2021. The awardees are Giselle Barnett, the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management, Jalisha Barrett for the MSc in Natural Resource Management, Urban and Rural Environmental Management, Luke Buchanan, the MSc in Natural Resource Management, Urban and Rural Environmental Management. O'Shane Clark, the MSc in Natural Resource Management, Urban and Rural Environmental Management. Tanesha Clark, for the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Sasha Gay Forbes Miller, the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. The Valley Grant, MSc in Agricultural Entrepreneurship. Monique Green, the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Kamara Henry, the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Vanessa Henry, for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Andre Jarrett, for the MSc in Agricultural Entrepreneurship. Nicole Cooper for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Shalini Lalwani for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Esther Luison for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Odeen McCoy 
the MSc in Natural Resource Management, Urban and Rural Environmental Management. Shilon McNally, the MSc in Natural Resource Management, Urban and Rural Environmental Management. Denise Peart, the MSc in Natural Resource Management, Urban and Rural Environmental Management. Chantelle Peart, the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Uban Rodan, the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Mikhail Riley, the MSc in Computer Science. Sheridan Sterling, for the MSc in Food and Agro-Processing Technology. Shiloh Waite, for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. And Latoya Wright, for the MSc in Natural Resource Management, Urban and Rural Environmental Management. Congratulations to you all on the good work. I'm pleased to announce the students who've received academic commendation in their respective graduate programs in semester two of the academic year 2020-2021. The awardees are Giselle Barnett for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Jalicia Barrett for the MSc in Natural Resource Management, Urban and Rural Environmental Management. Romaine Chisholm the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Tanisha Clark, for the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Shanika Cover, for the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Chadwick Crawford, for the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Stefina Douglas, for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. The Val Grant for the MSc in Agricultural Entrepreneurship. Kamara Henry for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Trason Henry for the MSc in Agricultural Entrepreneurship. Vanessa Henry for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management. Jaquel Johnson, the MSc in Food and Agro-Processing Technology. Andrew McCartney, the MSc in Mathematics. Davina McPherson, the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Karima Mundell Thomas, for the MSc in Mathematics. Diony Peart, for the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Ryan Rattray, the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Ruan Riley, for the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Jermaine Spencer, the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Sheridan Sterling, the MSc in Food and Agro-Processing Technology. Kristen Trowers for the MSc in Enterprise Risk Management and Rakiba Walters for the MSc in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Congratulations to you all and good work. We are pleased to announce the list of awardees for the academic year 2020-2021 in the Faculty of Science and Technology for Masters of Science, Master of Philosophy, and Doctor of Philosophy with distinction and with high commendation. The awardees are Shane Miller, the Master of Science in Applied Data Science. Renee Newman, the Master of Science also in Applied Data Science. Samaray Campbell, Master of Science in Computer Science. Sabrina Palomino, Master of Science in Food and Agro-Processing Technology. Ivana Thompson, Master of Science in Natural Resource Management, 
marine and terrestrial ecosystems. Kajol Sahibdin, Master of Science in Medical Physics. Abimbola Ogonowo Horton, from Master of Science in Natural Resource Management, Marine and Terrestrial Ecosystems. Luke Buchanan, the Master of Science in Natural Resource Management, Integrated Urban and Rural Environment Management. Odin McCoy, the Master of Science in Natural Resource Management, Integrated Urban and Rural Environment Management. Casey Ann Solarge, the Master of Science in Occupational and Environmental Safety and Health. Desirena Delancey, the Master of Philosophy in Zoology. And Sarah Buckland, the Doctor of Philosophy in Geography. Jayaka Campbell, the Doctor of Philosophy with High Commendation in Physics. On behalf of all of the members of the Faculty of Science and Technology, we extend our warmest congratulations to you all. Congratulations to all our postgraduate awardees for their distinguished academic performance. The research and innovation coming out of our postgraduate programs is leading national and global change. And this is what has positioned the FST as the go-to place for solutions. So ladies and gentlemen, the final category of awards for this evening is the special awards. In this category, we recognize both students and staff who have distinguished themselves in various areas. The first set of special awards will be announced by Dr. Denika Luke, lecturer in the Department of Life Sciences here in the FST. Over to you, Dr. Luke. The Faculty of Science and Technology is pleased to announce these special awards for the 2020-2021 academic year. Dr. Venkateswara Penugonda, Vice Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Teaching. Professor Tanisia Stevenson, Vice Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Research Accomplishments. Professor Mona Weber, the Gold Musgrave Medal for Science 2020 2021. Professor Rupika Delgoda, 2021 Sabga Laureate for Science. Dr. Darren Watson, Prime Minister's 2020 Youth Award for Academics. Mr. Yakini Wallen Bryan, Prime Minister's 2020 Youth Award for Science and Technology. Ms. Denika Rudin, Vincent Hosang Competition, the JMMB Joan Duncan Award for Corporate Social Responsibility and the Award for Digital Transformation. Ms. Jatil Johnson, first place in the Food Science Toolbox Essay Writing Competition. The faculty congratulates these awardees. The Faculty of Science and Technology congratulates the 2021 National Baking Company Foundation Boost Scholarship awardees. Alex Clark, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Biology. The Shane Dixon, Bachelor of Science, Actuarial Science. Jordan Garvey, Bachelor of Science, Biotechnology. Gabrielle Gale, Bachelor of Science, Geology. Dana Grant Moncrief, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Casey Linton, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Biology. Jamali McLeod, Bachelor of Science, Biology with Education. Clayton Mitchell, Bachelor of Science, Applied Chemistry. Serena Morgan, Bachelor of Science, Biotechnology. Georgian Pollock, Bachelor of Science, Actuarial Science. Chantel Regent, Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry. Natalia Reynolds, Bachelor of Science, Marine Biology. Shade Smith, Bachelor of Science, Animal Biology. Kyra Taylor, Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Chanel Wisdom, 
Bachelor of Science, Biotechnology. The faculty congratulates these awardees. Thank you so much, Dr. Luke, and congratulations to all those who have received those special awards tonight. And now, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Mrs. Rosaline Simmons. Mrs. Rosaline Simmons is going to present the next set of special awards. She is the FST's administrative officer. Over to you, Mrs. Simmons. The awardees in the category of administrative, technical, and service staff are Ms. Margaret Little for excellence in the performance of administrative duties to the Department of Physics. Mrs. Sabraham Greensmith for excellence in the performance of administrative duties to the Dean's Office. Mr. Andre Gordon for excellence in the performance of technical duties to the Department of Physics. Miss Janelle Williams for excellence in the performance of technical duties to the International Center for Environmental and Nuclear Sciences, ISENS. Miss Makita Watson for excellence in the provision of support services to the Department of Chemistry. Mr. Jermaine Williams for excellence in the provision of support services to the Dean's Office and the wider faculty. The FSD thanks these outstanding ATS staff members for their exemplary work and contributions to the Faculty of Science and Technology. Heartiest congratulations to our awardees. Thank you so much, Mrs. Simmons, and congratulations to all our awardees in the special awards category tonight. The FST is so very proud of you. You continue to make us shine. In fact, everyone, from wherever you are, I want you to stop with me. If you're driving, please pull over and join me in giving a well-deserved round of applause to all our awardees this evening. Thank you. You deserve awardees to, to just bask in this moment and to celebrate with your family members and friends who I am sure are as proud of you as we are. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to hear just how the awardees are feeling. And so here to give a reply on behalf of all of the awardees, I present Mr. Neil Nicol, FST graduate, with first class honors in mathematics. Principal Dale Weber, Dean Professor Michael Taylor, Associate Deans, Heads of Departments, Master of Ceremonies, Guest Speaker, Administrative, Technical and Service Staff, Awardees, Parents and Guardians, Guests and Students of the Faculty of Science and Technology. Good evening. It is with great honor and humility that I stand here to deliver the reply on behalf of all awardees for the academic year 2020-2021, a year of excellence. On behalf of all the awardees here today, I would like to express our gratitude to the Dean, Associate Deans, Heads of Departments, Lecturers, and the Administrative Staff who saw the need for this ceremony a ceremony in which our efforts are acknowledged and which will serve as an example of the quality of students that are produced from the Faculty of Science and Technology, the Faculty of Greatness. Sir Joshua Reynolds, a painter from the 16th century, believed that excellence is never granted to man, but as the reward of labor. To my fellow Dean's Honor Roll and Academic Commendation awardees, this recognition today is the reward. It was not merely given to you, but rather an acknowledgement of your labor. The countless sleepless nights, making it to online lectures and tutorials, rewatching recordings until the concept stuck, and excelling in your coursework and exams. The academic year 2020-2021 was no easy task, but the number of us being awarded today shows that as students in the Faculty of Science and Technology, we flourished in these unprecedented times. While we celebrate our accomplishments, it should not stop here. Let this be continued motivation to always reach for the stars. 
to my fellow first class honors recipients, the motto of a prominent high school in Kingston states that after the battle, the reward, and <laughs> boy, was it a battle. If there is one thing that can be taken away from our whole experience in the Faculty of Science and Technology, it would have to be how resilient we are as a student body. From the shifts from face-to-face -face labs to online lab sessions, slight delays to field trips and site visits, not being able to pull those famous all-nighters in the SciTech library, our journey has been memorable. We can proudly say we did it, and we did it in true FST style. So whether your next steps include pursuing a postgraduate degree or venturing into the world of work, the experiences you have gathered from being an FSD student reminds us that we are not only capable, but we are destined for great things. Show the world what it means to possess a degree from one of the toughest faculties from a university that is in the top 2% in the world. To the professors who are not only performing cutting edge research, but are also setting an example to the future generation of researchers, thank you for all you do. It is no easy feat to balance the throes of adulthood, be amazing lecturers and role models while making waves in your various research fields. It is your innovative research that contributes to the global standard of the UWI. Take this time to bask in your achievements and be proud of your contribution. It might not mean as much coming from us, but we are truly proud of all that you have done and all you will continue to do. At the very root of FST, you embody greatness and we are extremely grateful. Lastly, many thanks to the parents, guardians and loved ones who have seen firsthand the hard work it took for us to be all virtually seated today receiving these awards. Thank you for the nights you served as our personal alarm clocks, the days you cooked a meal because you realized that we've been in the books too long, and just thank you. Thank you for being there as a source of motivation and encouragement. This is as much your award as it is ours, and as such, we will continue to make the best use of the opportunities you have provided us to further elevate ourselves and build a successful future. As many of you watch this broadcast from your various locations across the world, I want to remind you that while we are enjoying the reward, that it does not stop here. Continue to be the excellent students you are. Continue to sow seeds of greatness everywhere you go. Let your light so shine that they may know that not only are you a product of the prestigious University of the West Indies, you are a student from the Faculty of Science and Technology the faculty of greatness thanks daniel thank you so much you all make the fst so very proud the world does face significant challenges but because of you our students we are not so worried we know that with your fst degree you have the capacity to think and find creative solutions to global challenges and we know with your record of excellence, you will continue to distinguish yourselves as you make excellence a way of life. As our students continue to show their gratitude, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hand over to Miss Zoe Hall. Zoe is another FST graduate with first class honors this time in computing. And Zoe will come to make a presentation to our keynote speaker. Wow. Wasn't that simply amazing? Good evening, everyone. I'm Zoe Hall, a recent graduate of the University of the West Indies and one of the awardees this evening. It is with great pleasure that I extend the deepest thank you to you, Mr. Aston Hamilton. I'm sure I speak for everyone when I say what an honor it was to have you speak to us and impart some of what you've learned in your various chapters of life. The lessons you've taught us today are truly invaluable. And with that being said, on behalf of the Faculty of Science and Technology and my fellow awardees, please accept a token of our appreciation. And again, thank you. Thank you so much, Zoe. I want to thank every member of the FSD family who has contributed to our faculty and who have empowered our students to distinguish themselves as top achievers every category of staff, academic, administrative, technical, and service staff in the FSD, each of us work 
with the other. We work together as a team toward one mission to help our students achieve their dreams and to make the FST that go to place for solutions. Thanks to all categories of staff and thanks to all our students, past and present, for making our faculty shine. And it's fitting that in this moment we pause to remember and to honor those members of the FST family who have passed away in the last year. It is on the shoulders of these giants that the FST now stands. Mr. Javis Patrick, FST student. Mr. Rudolf Blair, Senior Instrument Technologist in the Department of Physics. Ms. Deandra Thompson, Lab Analyst at UIMAC Lab in the Department of Chemistry. Mr. Krishna Dionarain, Senior Laboratory Technologist and Glass Blower in the Department of Chemistry. Professor Emeritus Gerald Leila, former head of the International Center for Environmental and Nuclear Sciences. Dr. Martin Orb, former Dean of the FSD and Senior Lecturer in the Department of Mathematics. Professor Emeritus Kenneth Magnus, former Head of the Department of Chemistry and Dean of the FSD. Professor Emeritus David Barker. Ladies and gentlemen, pause with me for a moment of silence, a moment of reflection as we give thanks for the lives, the contributions of our fallen family members. Thank you very much, everyone. May their souls find peace and light perpetual shine upon them. Now, don't forget, everyone, this is a celebration, a celebration of distinguished performance in the FSD. And so to get us back to the vibe that we started with, I'm going to bring back Mr. Orion Green to entertain us with his melodious voice. born strong I was made for this see I met so many hard times when I thought I couldn't make it see I had my trials when my pillows dried my eyes but then the morning came and my wings to fly I rise I rise broken I'm down but I won't die I rise I rise soon I will reach the sky it's a light rise some say it's a mystery how I still believe that in spite of all been through, I can still find the will. See, I have a power they can see with their eyes. It's a little thing called faith that makes broken wings fly. I rise, I rise. See, I'm hurting but not broken. Down but I won't die. I rise. i <laughs> 
again Oren for that fabulous performance you know I am one of your biggest fans now guys if you enjoyed that performance by Oren keep those typing fingers working and show some love for him in the chat he is a representation of the wealth of talent that abounds in the FST the future of Jamaica is in good hands I tell you so that brings us everyone to the end of our program but before we go, there are a number of people we must thank. And to do that, Mr. Luke Buchanan will join. He's going to take over from me to move the vote of thanks. Luke is a graduate from the Master of Science program in Natural Resource Management here in the FSD. Over to you, Luke. Pro Vice Chancellor, the principal of the Mona campus, Professor Dale Weber, Dean, Associate Dean, and heads of departments, lecturers, administrative staff, other supporting staff of the Faculty of Science and Technology, specially invited guests, academic excellence, which is quite fitting for the kind of distinction that is represented by the UA. As a recent postgraduate student in the MSc in Natural Resource Management here at UA Mono, the COVID-19 pandemic brought along many challenges. Under these challenging circumstances, the metal of the University of the West Indies was tested and the UA was able to pivot while providing a world-class hybrid program of mostly online as well as limited face-to-face -face programs. Let us commend the UA. On behalf of the faculty, I would like to extend thanks to the Master of Ceremonies, Dr. Maradine Singh Wilmot, the keynote speaker, Mr. Ashton Hamilton, for the able way in which he delivered the message today. We received the message well, and we will endeavor to take on the challenge that was given to us. Special greetings and thank you to all heads of department. The students were also tested during the pandemic. And being an awardee today is testament to the toughness, drive, and determination of each student represented here. We must also give our thanks to all the support systems that are available to us. Special thank you to everyone who has contributed in some way to the execution of this award ceremony. You are appreciated. To the ones that are closest to us, the parents, friends, supporters and family members we could not have done it without you you are appreciated and you are all a blessing to us we thank you fellow awardees you have done well and you should be proud of your achievements i now challenge you to continue to strive for excellence in whatever you do i thank you in advance for the contributions that you will make to your community to Jamaica and the world at large. I encourage all awardees and other graduates to become an active member of the UWE Alumni Association. The UWE Alumni Association is an outstanding professional organization and a valuable connection to other UWE graduates, a link which enables you to network in many spheres. Always remember that gratitude is a must. Thank you. Thank you so much, Luke. And I have to join you in saying thank you to all those who worked to put this afternoon together. It has been a fabulous evening of celebrating excellence, of celebrating distinguished 
academic performance. And I want to say thanks to the faculty office in particular. This is where all the organization took place, everybody. The faculty office and the staff in the faculty office are always dedicated to our students, and they continue to show this dedication by this organization of this award ceremony tonight. Thank you again for your hard work and dedication, everybody. Thanks to the HODs and their administrative staff. Thanks to the Dean and the associate deans for all they have done in celebrating our students this afternoon. Congratulations again to all our awardees and thanks to all the family members and friends who have joined this evening. Finally, I have to thank the technical team at MITS for their work in bringing you this broadcast. Remember everyone to stay safe and make sure I see you back here next year for Faculty Awards 2023. Until then, follow the FST on Instagram at UWIMona underscore FST and like us on Facebook. We continue to be your go-to place for science education, training, research, and solutions. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Thank you.